Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with a video that's been, well, overdue and uh, underdone the first time and in need of a update uh, for quite a while. And in fact, uh, this was one of my first videos that I originally did and that was how to make a chat program with CMD. So we're going to get right into that here. So the first video I had done was, admit it, self-admittedly, uh, very long, very hard to understand, and to be quite honest, I can't even watch the whole thing through myself. So what I'm going to do here is I uh, did a complete remake of the chat program, and I'm going to first start with a demo, and uh, then we're going to dive right into how it's made. Uh, but I'm going to do something a little different this time. Instead of walking you through every single line, writing it down, and troubleshooting through errors every time, I'm just going to open up the files, show you what's inside, and give you a download link so you can understand how to use it, but we don't have to go through the entire process of me typing it all out. So to start, uh, how you start this chat up is just by double clicking on the chat.cmd. This will open up a file, a uh, CMD window here, and as you can see it says please type your username and press enter. And if you'd like to create an account, you can just type 1 and press enter. So uh, we don't have an account yet, so we're going to press 1 and hit enter. Uh, for a username, we're going to choose nerd, because nerds are cool these days, right? And uh, for a password, we're just going to do the simple 1, 2, 3, 4 so we don't forget. Alright, so our account is successfully created and it uh, bumps us right back into the main menu. Uh, where we're now going to log in with our username, nerd, and our password 1234. So now we open up the incoming messages and we also have a chatting as nerd window here which is where you actually type your messages into. So this is going to be uh, where it displays all the messages that come in and here's where you will communicate with the other people. So let's test it out. Hello. And there we see it says our name and it says what we have typed. And do note it also says um, when someone has joined the chat room. So now that we know how this essentially works, or uh, how it works in practice, let's take a look at how it does actually work. So included in the files you'll download, you'll get a chat.cmd, a message uh, displayer.cmd, and a users folder. Uh, the users folder is where the user's information will be stored, uh, similar to the last one, except for it's stored now in a DLL file, which still is openable uh, if you open it with Notepad or Notepad++ or some other text editor. However, if you just try to double click on it, it uh, seems to be a bit more secure since it uh, displays a warning that this could damage your system. So, how, this is dis uh, how the data is stored in here, uh, we'll just open it up with Notepad++ and probably get pl prompted to update stuff. But anyways, uh, so it's saved, uh, the file name is the username, so nerd.dll, and inside we can see the password. Fairly simple and easy to access within a CMD uh, program. So next we're going to look inside the uh, main chat program, and this is basically where all the magic happens. So I'm actually going to open this up with Notepad++ here because we don't like Notepad, it's, uh, it's getting a little dated. Yeah, we're going to click the correct thing here, alright. Alright, so this is a fairly simple program actually, and it seems to, you know, be a lot simpler than the original one, but I'll just walk you through line by line here, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So starting off, add echo off, I hope we all know what that means, it just basically doesn't display, you know, the prompt and all the uh, extra output that comes in the CMD window, so it just displays what you wanted to type. Uh, next we have mode, con equals calls 54, lines equals 15. What this does, it just sets the size of that window, so it makes it a little more pleasing to the eye, instead of opening up in a large window. Uh, next we have a title, which you can change to your liking, uh, but I hope you would, uh, you know, put me in there as having a little part of this, if not just tell your friends, right? It's kind of cool. Uh, so next here we just have some comments, and uh, this kind of explains how the code works. So here's the code to log into the program. Here we have uh, colon, then login, and this is just a placeholder so we can uh, jump back to this place in the code when we need to. And again, just making sure that the uh, console is the correct size. Here we're going to clear the screen and then echo some text here just to make it look pretty and tell the user what to do. Next we'll set a variable username with a slash p argument which will um, set it or ask for the user's input and whatever they type in, uh, the variable username will be set to that. So now we're going to check if the input is 1, which will tell us that we need to create an account, and if, if so, uh, so if the username, and make sure to put the variable name in percents, 
double equals sign one, uh, we're gonna go to create an account. And then after that, we're gonna clear the screen and then just go back into uh, log into old school chat. And this time we uh, want them to type their password and press enter because if it wasn't equal to one, it was likely their username and they will now type in their password. Again, just setting the variable password so we can use the password to log them in later. So now we're going to see if the username and, or now that we have the username and password, uh, we can check to see if they match any files. So first, we're going to check to make sure that the username uh, file exists. So if exist, uh, we have a quote here, uh, which signifies or uh, helps us if we have spaces in the username or the file path, uh, it won't break the program. Uh, so dot, which just means a folder you're already in, uh, backslash users, backslash, and then in percents the username, dot DLL. So if that file exists, we just want to go to password check to make sure they have the correct password. However, if the username does not exist, we now know that they don't have an account, um, so we're just going to say incorrect credentials. And uh, tell them, I'm sorry, but those credentials were not found. Please try again. Timeout, which is basically like ping local host. Uh, so just wait three seconds with this slash T argument. And then make sure to put greater than null. So it just display or just waits silently. And then we're just going to go back into login up here and start that all over again. Next, we're going to check if the password is correct. Uh, so this happens only if the username uh, was found. So first, uh, we want to grab the password from the file, so we're going to do set slash p password underscore file. That's the variable uh, that we're going to set the password from the file into. Just uh, do set forward slash p password underscore file equals less than, uh, and then just the username.dll uh, file path again. Uh, now we're just going to see if the password in the file matches the password the user typed in and therefore if they are the correct person or if they typed in the password correctly. So if percent password underscore file percent equals equals percent password percent go to correct credentials meaning that they have uh, uh, typed in the password correctly and it matches the username. However if they do not match uh, we want to go to incorrect credentials because again they did not type in the correct password. Uh, which would set them up here and just say that those credentials were not found. Next, we have the create account portion, uh, which is what happens when the user presses one from the main menu. Uh, so we're just gonna echo some stuff out here, basically to tell the user what's going on, that they are creating an account and what they need to do. So of course we need to set a variable here so we can get the username they want. So set forward slash p new underscore username equals username. And when the user types in their username, it'll set the variable new underscore username to whatever they typed in. So next, clear the screen, redraw, and we're going to ask for their password this time. So basically essentially the same thing, except for now we're asking for new underscore password. And uh, they're going to type in their password, and then we have that, ver or that password now stored in the variable new underscore password. Now that we have all the information to create an, a new account, we're just going to echo the uh, new password variable. Make sure to start on that in percent signs. And we're going to echo that to a, the new username uh, .dll file. Uh, so it's just going to create the file uh, with the name of the username, as we saw earlier. Now we can confirm to the user that we have created the account and go home so they can log in. Again, just echo it's created, time out for two seconds, and then go back home. Now, again, if they or typed in the correct credentials when logging in, this is what's going to happen. We're going to start CMD, which is the command prompt, slash C, so the program, and this is where we're just going to open up the message displayer, which allows them to view the messages uh, that are in the chat. So we just type in the file path of that message displayer there. And next, we're going to change the title to chatting as whatever the username is, so they know what username they're logged in to, and they also know that they're uh, chatting now instead of trying to log in. Now, we just uh, echo a dot into the chat text file, which is where all the uh, chats are stored. If I didn't mention that before, we'll just dive in there. Um, all the chat information is stored in this chat.txt, so we can see here our test from before is stored in here. So what we do is we just enter a uh, blank line, which is what the echo dot means, into the chat.txt just to clear out the space. And then we say, uh, echo, the username has joined the chat room, so everybody knows that you have joined. Next, we uh, just enter another line 
uh, to free up some space between the new user joining and all the rest of the chat. Now that we have joined the chat, we now want to convert this program into uh, the messaging part where you actually type your message in and it goes into the chat program. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the size here of the uh, console to make it more like, uh, or to make it fit better what you're going to type into it. And then we just set the variable input, uh, set forward slash p input equals message, and that's what you're going to be typing. Um, so we can, again, echo that into the chat file. Now if the input equals um, nothing, we're just going to go back to read messages so it doesn't crash the program if the user just hits enter. Um, you can add here if the input equals exit, exit the program. I did not implement that because you can press exit. It's not that difficult. Um, here is where we actually put the message into the chat program. So I guess one of the most important parts, I would say. And it's fairly simple. You just do echo username. So it says uh, whoever the user is, colon, uh, that they're chatting. And then uh, the variable input, which is their actual message. And then uh, two greater than signs to chat.txt. And again, if you don't know, the two greater than signs uh, will signify that you want it to write to a new line of text in that file. Uh, if you only did one greater than sign, it would just erase everything and write one line. And then again, we're going to set input equal to nothing and uh, then go back to read messages so we can start the whole uh, process all over again. So that was the main uh, chat program and now we're just going to take a look at the message displayer program which is uh, quite simple here. Again, edit with notepad plus plus, whatever text editor, editor you want to use, it really doesn't matter. So again, start off with add echo off, and then we're going to change the size again. And you can really do this whatever you want, but this is what I found worked best on my uh, display. Uh, title incoming messages, just to let the user know what's up, and uh, put a little marker here for home, so we can refer back to that. And then first, we need to check if this chat file here exists, because if it doesn't, it's going to be quite difficult to write to it. Uh, so if it uh, does not exist, uh, we're going to go to create, and we'll just jump down there quickly. Uh, once we go to create, uh, we're just going to echo uh, whatever you want here. This just you know, starts a new file with whatever text uh, you want. Um, again, the one greater than sign to the chat.txt uh, file. And then also if you want to echo something more beneath that, you can do that there. And just go to home. And then that file will exist now, so we're going to clear the screen. Um, and this type command is what displays the... Uh, the contents of that text file. So just type then whatever the text file path is, uh, echo a period, and uh, then wait for one second. And then again, echo one period is just uh, uh, write a blank line. Uh, time out for one second. So it's a one second refresh interval. And then go home and it'll keep looping in there until you exit the program, reading the new messages. So now that you uh, basically understand how that works, and the uh, download again will be in the description of the file or the video, uh, you're gonna ask me, well, you know, this is great and all, but how am I supposed to chat with my friends? How am I supposed to chat on the network? You know, how does that all work? And especially in Windows 10, where's my public folder? I don't know where my public folder is. Well, here's I'll tell you what. It's quite simple here. Uh, let's say you. So, you know, first, uh, you gotta figure out what folder you want to share and you got to put all this stuff in it right so uh, we're gonna put this stuff in a new folder which is called test in my uh, YouTube folder and uh, we're just gonna paste that all in here in there so this is, these are all the files you'll download minus the chat.txt because that'll be created when you uh, start the program and uh, then what you want to do is go to the folder that you have everything in right click on it and go down to share no no uh, right click on it go down to share with uh, specific people click little drop down arrow click everyone and click share so now what you can do is you, you see this file path here and uh, this is kinda interesting and this is what you're gonna use to access the chat from other computers so let's say you're on a computer and it's just a computer on your network again it has to be on your network um, so what you're going to do is you're going to copy these uh, files to that computer and what you're going to do inside of them is you're going to edit them with whatever text editor you want 
and find every file path here. So let's say for example this one, and you're gonna to wanna to do this to everything that has basically backslashes, anything that has a file, a file path. And you're just gonna type this little, uh, the file path inside there. So in this example it would be forward slash, or backslash backslash NSA dash peer, uh, backslash users, backslash John, backslash documents, backslash YouTube, shouldn't have picked such a long file name, backslash test, and now you're in the users folder and you can do all of your chatting. So again, just copy and paste this um, in place of every period here, uh, basically, uh, for all the file names and make sure that you delete that extra backslash. Uh, that would pop up right there. So uh, that's basically how you share it with other people. And uh, again, that's pretty simple and that's pretty much it to it. So, you know, if I earned your subscription and you enjoy this video and you enjoy me actually making videos and you enjoy me making them on time and not taking many weeks to get back to you on comments and all that stuff, you know, I'd really appreciate it if you share my channel and these videos with your friends because it helps me out. I'm going through school uh, currently and it's it's very busy and difficult to make videos and uh, do well on schoolwork as well. So if you appreciate these videos, I really would appreciate that you subscribe and share with friends. If not, that's okay too. But again, I don't ask for your money. I don't ask for anything else. But I'd appreciate if you share this channel and help it grow in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.